it's understandable that Juneteenth is and has been a big deal in Texas for more than 100 years. In Texas, the day is a celebration of freedom. Everywhere else, it's a celebration of, of the political spoils of grievance politics. Uh, outside the state of Texas, Juneteenth reeks of insincerity. The Joe Biden approved national holiday does not celebrate the end of American slavery. It rewards racial grievance, promotes racial division, and diminishes Memorial Day, a tradition started by black Americans 22 days after Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered in 1865. Yes, Memorial Day was a byproduct of 10,000 freed slaves parading through the streets of Charleston, South Carolina to honor the Union soldiers who sacrificed their lives in the Civil War. Black Americans kicked off the custom of celebrating American soldiers who paid the ultimate price in pursuit of expanding freedom. If we knew history and understood it, we would recognize the fraudulence of Juneteenth as a national federal holiday. Juneteenth commemorates that Texas did not enforce the Emancipation Proclamation until Union soldiers arrived in mid-June of 1865. It salutes the stubbornness of Texas slave owners and the tardiness of justice. It's understandable that Juneteenth is and has been a big deal in Texas for more than 100 years. In Texas, the day is a celebration of freedom. Everywhere else, it's a celebration of, of the political spoils of grievance politics. Juneteenth has only mattered outside the Lone Star State since national politicians needed a way to pacify black activists looking to capitalize off the death of career criminal turned racial justice pawn, George Floyd. If George Floyd were alive today, smoking fentanyl, passing counterfeit money, and menacing women, no one outside of Texas would have pretended yesterday was significant. Juneteenth is insincere. Defenders of the holiday pretzel logic, common sense, facts, and truth in a desperate attempt to legitimize Juneteenth as a national holiday. In three years, no one has offered a sound explanation justifying the necessity and importance of Juneteenth. The best holidays observe sacrifice, triumph, and accomplishment. George Washington Day, Martin Luther King Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the 4th of July. The Biden-controlled government lists Juneteenth as National Independence Day. The next entry is Independence Day, July 4th. The back-to-back -back entries explain why Juneteenth is so polarizing. Countries do not have two separate founding days. The United States of America was founded in 1776. White and black Americans fought the British and contributed to the formation of this country. If supporters of Juneteenth were remotely sincere, they would designate it a day to celebrate freedom, not independence. Call it National Freedom Day. But there is very little sincerity among political partisans. Inauthentic debate and conflict rule politics. Juneteenth is one part George Floyd ransom and one part, one part political cudgel. Yesterday, Twitter reacted in full outrage when Christian conservative influencer Charlie Kirk tweeted an objection to Juneteenth. He wrote this, if Juneteenth was really about emancipation, why not? September 22nd, 1862, when Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Or January 1st, 1863, when the proclamation took effect. Or December 18th, 1865, with the ratification of the 13th Amendment. Because it's not about emancipation, which was one of America's great moral achievements. It's about creating a summertime race-based competitor two weeks before July the 4th, which should be the most uh, unifying civic holiday on the calendar. Charlie Kirk's logic, whether you like it or not, is sound. Juneteenth is a well-executed political propaganda campaign. 
Leftists use it to trigger conservatives so they can then turn to black voters and say, look how racist white evangelical conservatives are. They're against Juneteenth. It's a gimmick that works every time because of black people's unabated affection for racial idolatry. Our racial idolatry has caused us to believe that any action that infuriates conservative white men serves the interest of black people. That is the depth of our worldview and political strategy. We don't do what's in our best interest because we've been led to believe that our enemy is the white man in general and the conservative white man in particular. Our real enemy is the man in the mirror. Our focus should be on thwarting and frustrating our individual flawed nature and instinct. Secular leftists control our emotions and actions because they know if they frame any issue as anti-white, we will interpret it as pro-black. Juneteenth isn't pro-black. It's pro-Democrat and pro-racial idolatry. The holiday is simply another secular tool used to convince black people that politics can deliver freedom, purpose, dignity, and salvation that only God provides.